salary again. Uh, today we're going to draw Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow, a pirate. And usually when we're doing a face, um, what I like to ask the kids, or usually it's kids, um, is how do we know this is a pirate? Because everybody knows it's a pirate. So Veronica, what is something that tells you this is a pirate? His hat. The hat. It's like what, those tri-corner hat? I don't know why, but for some reason pirates have those. What else about him, anything? His, his hair, his beard, his, yeah, he's got long his eyeliner. Hair. Well, the eyeliner, I don't know if that's necessarily all pirates. <laughs> that's but just it's definitely the Johnny Depp. The Johnny Depp sexy pirate wears a lot of eyeliner. Um, yeah, and sometimes it'll be, and, and he has this little bit of beading, but um, sometimes it's a striped shirt or like a torn up vest. I'm trying to think of like the Pirates of the Caribbean type thing, but um, you know, you know a pirate is a pirate when you see one, okay? And we know this is. Um, What's, it, what's the movie again? Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so we're going to start with the hat because the hat is going to take up quite a bit of space. And we're going to fit a space around here. Um, it's a little bit tricky to make a, a face with a pastel or charcoal that's, that's this small, but we are going to do it. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do, I guess I'm going to do one in color. And I'm also going to do one in, in, uh, in charcoal, okay? I will start with the color, and I'm going to use this little stub of, um, of sienna, okay? It's kind of the reddish brown, because when I go to do um, color his skin in, um, and I use kind of a lighter color, it'll blend with this, and it will make sort of a nice, he's got kind of a ruddy complexion there, okay? We're going to start with a piece that's right here, all right? And he's tilting his head just a little bit, but I'm going to put him pretty much just straight on. It doesn't, it doesn't really make too much difference to the picture. It's the eyes that are really going to make the expression. It's not really the tilt of his head. So we're just going to worry about that. Um, don't get too low. You know, find the middle of your paper, okay? And in this case, the middle of the picture is probably his nose. All right, so you're going to be right here. You definitely need to go up a little bit. All right, if you get it on there and you get in the wrong place, either flip your paper over or just try, just draw it in a different place where you want it, and we'll figure out some way to cover it up. You know, when you make mistakes and you're drawing a little baby's face, you know, you get some problems because you don't want extra lines and scribbles all over the place. But if you're drawing somebody who's a little dirty and rough looking, then it's okay if you have a few mistakes. No big deal at all. Okay, so we're going to start and make a line that runs about here. Okay, and this is about the width, like maybe hit the width where his hair is, okay, because the hat's going to fit on where his hair is, and then his hair's going to bump, pop out from, from that part, okay, it's not going to be, he's not going to have hair hanging out from the side here, okay, all right, that's about it, it does slant up just a little bit, but I've seen people do it, they slant it too much, and it, it doesn't look right, it looks, it doesn't look right. So you're better off to just go straight if, if, if you don't think you can get the um, angle just right. It's very low. It's a very low little tilt up like that. So you bring that out. I want you to go in the middle and I will up, up as close as you can get to the top of the page and I want you to make a U shape. Okay, and then you can kind of bring the top of the U in a little bit. Okay, that's how he has that little fold and that piece actually comes forward. We'll work on that a little bit. All right, so this rounds a little bit, and then it comes down to the side, and then it goes out to the side like that. So work that out, and I'll do it in, in um, black. So I'm going to start with the piece that's about here. All right, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit on the side, or just keep it straight. I'm going to have that kind of keyhole shape. I'm going to start up here and work my way out, sort of, you know, triangle. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead, let's put this line here while we're at it. It's a little bit on the left side of the keyhole. It's going to help to have it have a little shadow. I'm going to do that with this too. Okay. Alright, so we know that the width of his face is about here. Okay? I want you to find the spot you think his chin ought to be. This is too low, but this is too small. Okay? Um, start at the bottom and come up enough so that you can, you're looking for the middle. 
come up enough so that you think you can fit a neck in there, a little bit of shoulders, but don't go any higher than that. Go the bare minimum, all right? So your belt right, maybe right here. We can always make his chin smaller looking by when we put the beard on. We can always change that, but we can't add too much to it, okay? Same deal down here. I'm going to mark kind of the side of his face. I'm going to mark, go to the bottom, go in the middle, and I'm going to mark, oh, maybe right about there. Okay, now his face is not a point, right? So we're not going to go from this point at a straight line. We're going to round it. It's going to be a little bit, um, what's the letter, Veronica? U. A U shape, yes. <laughs> okay? So you're going to maybe come down kind of like this, and then go up and around. Oops, I'm a little lopsided. Okay? Don't worry if it's a little bit off. It's lots of black on this picture, so there's lots of places for you to kind of cover up little mistakes. Alright? Okay. The other thing I want to do, um, whenever I'm drawing a face, I don't want a head that's just floating in air. Okay? That's kind of creepy. Is you want to have a little suggestion of where his neck's going to go. And also the fact that he has some shoulders, which are going to come, you know, way out to the side like this. Alright? They don't have to be really super dark, but that way if you're not coloring the hair, it doesn't look like he doesn't have any shoulders, all right? So bring that out, okay? He also has a piece of clothing that kind of runs like that. You don't see the side too much, but something like that, okay? A little neckline. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, are we doing okay? Mm -hmm. We're not going too fast. No one said it's too fast. Mm -hmm. No complaints so far. Okay. He has this little bandana. Okay. We want to put that on there. Don't cover up half his face with it because then it will look like his hat is sitting on the top of his head like a like a cartoon or something. We want it to fit on his head. So make sure when you put this line across, it's not very big. So it's going to go right in here. You can put an extra little line in there like that. Um, it comes out a little wider on this side. All right, if you're being really particular about it. All right, so small. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch on his features because I know we're anxious to do that part, at least I am. So there's two places on his face that he's pretty white. His two eyes and his teeth. And um, he as a person has the ability to turn his eyes in the side of his head a lot more than I think a lot of people do. That's a lot of white, but it also seems particularly white because there's so much black around it. But um, you have to walk a fine line between having the eyes, all you have to do is show a little bit of white on the left side and the eyes will be looking the other way. It doesn't need to be half the eyeball, like he, his is more than half the eyeball, it's almost gross, but other than that he's not that gross, but I guess I don't know. They're not, his eyes aren't super far apart. Don't put them out here, okay? What we want to start with is as close as we can get to the headband, we can kind of overlap his eyebrows. So I want you to get way up there. I want you to make me um, two arches. Don't do one eye and then go and do the other eye if you want them to come out similar because it won't happen. You'll do one and then there's no way, especially if you're... Um, right-handed, don't do um, this one first, and then your hand is in the way, you can't even see it. So I like to go from here, from the left to the right. Okay. Um, then you're going to go around the bottom. Better a little bit big eyes. We can always make them smaller, but we can't really make them bigger. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is mark a little bit. We'll do this over with black later, but he has a little bit of eyebrow that goes up like this. Um, between his eyes and his chin, in most cases, your nose is about halfway, all right? So that means about here is where his nose is. We're going to give him sort of a, a V shape, okay? You're going to take the, from the eyebrow on the right side, you're going to take up that and you're going to connect it to that part right there, okay? So down here, I'm going to do my... Now look at the eyes and decide if they look like they're um, close enough. If they're too really close, it might be a little tricky, but you'll be able to kind of 
push them over a little bit with a little bit of black, you'll be able to do that. But if they're way far apart, kind of cheat the lines in a little bit, if you can do it. Because you know, that's not his look particularly. Okay, so we do this. Then what you have is a little bit of a line right here. A little bit, and then a piece that comes around like that. That's sort of how that nose goes. Because his nose is turned a little bit, it's not so much the same on the other side, but you would have a little bit here and a little bit here, okay? If you don't, if all you have is just this kind of nose, that's A-OK, -okay. that's perfect, okay? If you want to try to do a nose with the nostrils, um, just give it a whirl, but if you don't, that's okay. All right, we'll go here, let's see. Here, here, and then we can go around and around. We just need to go blacker, okay. Now he does have his mouth open and his teeth showing. Normally, if you have teeth, you do not want to put any lines on the teeth because no matter what, it, how carefully you do it, it looks like they have rotten teeth. In his case, it's okay if his teeth look a little rotten, so we're gonna put a couple of little lines in there. We're not gonna do the teeth just yet, though. We're gonna add the teeth in there a little bit later, but I wanna be able to have two lips, okay? And he is smiling a little bit. So you're gonna, the upper lip is pretty close to his nose. So you're going to have a line that maybe goes up a little bit. Actually, it gets kind of up on both sides. Remember, you're going to have mustache over this, so don't worry too much about it. Don't make it too small. In general, the corners of your mouth line up with the center of your eyes. Okay, so um, it does look really funny right now. All right, and then what I'm going to do is leave a little space, and I'm going to add a lower lip on there like that. Okay? looks very strange. He does look crazy. Yeah, he's got zombie eyes now, but I don't want to do his eyes too, too quickly. We're going to do them in a minute, though. All right, so there's that and that. All right. Okay, so there's his features. I want to give him a little bit of shading. Um, let's just sketch in where his hair is, the outside part of where his hair is. So on this side, it starts near his... Um, you know, near his, well, I guess actually, no, it's out a little bit. It's out here. Okay, and that's actually lining up with the fold of his hat right there. So you're going to have kind of wavy coming out, and then maybe there's a few pieces like that. On the other side, it's a little inside, it's inside of his um, bandana, and it's a little straighter, but it goes out like this and down over his shoulder. Okay, this one's going to come over his shoulder too. All right, same thing here. There's going to be a line like this, and then this comes out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't want to, this is kind of a neat little thing to have, or the little bead. So what you can do is make kind of a long, skinny rectangle, and maybe a little kind of ring on the end, and then just divide that up, and that'll be that little, that's all you need to show that little piece of hair that goes in. What's that called? <laughs> I don't remember. Wrap? Hair wrap? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Remember when everybody used yes. to go to, uh, the islands and come back with their special braids when they went there for mm -hmm. spring break. Not that. us. I remember that when Jamie we were in huh? Jamie did it for us. Oh yeah. And that and that when we went to um, Disney that we tried on the hat like this. Oh That's yeah, with with that. with the dreads. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do before we sort of do a skin color, whatever you're going to do with that, or whether or not you're just going to um, smudge it in, is that he does kind of have nice cheekbones, all right? So those are attached, you know, it's here. It comes out of your nose. Am I drawing on my face? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Um, it's like here, right? It connects sort of to your nose and probably coming out about where to your ear is. So it's here is where he's going to have a little bit of a curve. And I'm not going to do this super dark, but I'm going to color in a little bit underneath that. Okay, I'm also going to color in his neck. Because in general, you know, your neck, especially on this side, but in his case, because he has all that thick hair, um, it's going to be your neck is going to be darker than the other parts of your skin. That's just a, just a general rule, okay? He'd also probably be a little bit darker around, I know we're going to put that black around his eyes, but he'd also, usually people have a little bit of dark, right in here too. Um, he's going to be darker under his nose, but we also have that mustache, mustache in there too, so it doesn't matter. He could have a little, OK? 
okay? If you look now, and the distance from the side of your face to where the eye is, is you know twice as big as what you have here. Do you have that problem? Where? From the corner of the eye to the side of the face? I don't. Okay, if you do, if you look and you have a long space here, just go here and take a line and drop it right down and just cover that up with hair. The great thing about having darker hair when you're drawing something and darker skin is that it makes it easy to like color stuff. Same thing here, you know, he's super close here because he's, in that case, his head's turned a little bit. But if you need to narrow the face up, that's what you're going to use the hair for, all right? Um, so again, I uh, put a little extra here and a little bit on the cheekbones. All right, um, definitely down here on the neck. I just put Vaseline on my hands. I don't know whether, how that's going to go when I start to smudge this. Okay, and so uh, this is a good example. I'm, I'm quite a ways from the eye to the side of the face. So I can just take this and sort of drop that straight down. And that's going to wind up being his hair. Okay, that gets his face more on the right side of things. Okay. I'm going to use, I found a color, it's light, um, I was using the gold, but the gold looked a little yucky, I don't know, it didn't look quite right for his skin, so, but if you don't have a lighter um, skin color for him in the browner range, you could use your ochre, or you could use, um, this one has kind of a peach, or you can use white, or you can use, if you, if you really um, have a very limited amount of colors and you want to do it, if you take yellow, um, if you're lucky and you have a little bit of pink and some brown and then maybe some white, you can, you can blend those together and they'll give you kind of a skin tone. The more brown you put, the darker somebody is, the more white you, and you put. Don't put a lot of yellow, but a little bit of yellow and um, pink together makes it kind of a little bit orangey. But um, well, maybe we'll do that another time, okay? So I'm going to take this. I'm not going to overdo it on where his mustache is going to go, but I'm still going to color it on there. All right, so I'm going to color in here. Um, don't forget to kind of leave the mouth uncolored. So you could find that, Monica, with yours. A little reddish brown, a little yellow, something a little pinkish, and that will make it. She's using, um, um, watercolor, what are they watercolor pencils. <laughs> watercolor pencils. So, um, there's probably not a, whatever I'm going to draw this for. I like, this is a good one. I happen to have this in my, whatever, kit that somebody gave me. Okay. That's good for that. I might put that on here. It's kind of got a limited palette. That's what we mean when we say there aren't a lot of colors. You call that a limited palette. So down here, what I'm going to do is use the, all that color I have on the neck. That's what I'm going to blur up in here. It works a little bit better than doing all, a lot of coloring on the face. If you, um, another trick is to, if the hair is dark, um, color the hair in and then use that on your finger to, to blend on the skin. Um, if your, the hair is light, to show that it's light, you might color the background. That's a great place to make a lot of black and then use that for the, for the skin. So he's a little dark all over, so I'm going to take a little bit off on his chin. We we're looking for the places where he's going to face the parts that stick out a little bit, his nose, the top tip of his nose, maybe right here on his cheeks. Okay. Take that eraser, give it a whirl. All right. I don't have a lot of definition between the chin and the neck, but I'm not going to worry about that too much because he's got that beard to come on there. So I want this, don't want to be too dark on his neck because it won't show. All right. How's that looking? We're good? Let's do, let's do, let's do the, finish the face and then we'll just add the, you know, the extra stuff, okay? Um, so when you're doing the eyes, the thing I was saying about putting them to, oh, here. It looks really funny now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Watch it come together, because it's going to. 
going to be like magic. Usually there's a middle part of your picture when things just not looking so good. Um, my friend Elizabeth Coyne coined the term the awkward adolescent phage. Yeah, phase. <laughs> yeah, adolescent phase, phase, phase. Um, when that's kind of, and then the, usually the more that you're like, ah, oh, the worse you're thinking things are going, that's about the point when everything's going to turn and go the other direction. It keeps getting better and better. I'm going to use the black now, um, and we're going to work on the eyes. If you make the eyeballs like this, that doesn't look right. This is cartoony, like if you want to show somebody <laughs> doing something strange, then that's cartoony. Um, if you do this, and then this, how's that? Do you see how they're different? Don't do that either. You don't want one doing looking one way and the other looking the other way. I don't think anyway, unless you do, and if that's the case. And the other thing is, I mean, this is still an awfully small amount of eye. This is a lot of white of the eye. This means their eyes are turning a lot into their head, and um, that's kind of gross. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. I usually say about halfway. Again, if I can leave a little smidgen of white behind, it will give it a little bit of, no matter what you do, you just try to leave it in about the same place on both of them. Um, that'll give me a little bit of light. Okay, then I'm going to take this, maybe, I'm, these eyes are plenty big enough, so when I add my um, eyeliner, I'm going to add it a little bit on the inside, I don't need quite so much. Okay, a little bit of white is going to go a long way in this picture. Okay, so there we go. Um, I don't like this smudge this very much. He has some eyebrows, and your eyebrows are usually closer together and than your actual eyes are, and they usually go a little bit longer than your um, the outside of your eyes too. Eyebrows stretch out there, but they are very important. If you don't put them on there, even if you're just making a little tiny sketch, you want to have some eyebrows on your person. Okay. I could use the, you might even be able to take like a, a dirty eraser or something, but you could probably take something like this and give them that, you know, professional, professionally done makeup look. Okay. We're going to go to his mustache. And if you notice, he's got a little space between his mustache, um, between the pieces of his mustache, and they kind of go out. All right, but they do sit on his lip. All right, so it's going to be kind of like this. We're going we're to wind up covering up the corner. So you're going to kind of like this is going to be how you start it. I'll do that. I'll let you get to that spot while I do this guy down here. I think Matias was going to have his um, friend. I think Matias was here. Let's see. Yeah. He was the first one. I'm not sure if he's still there, but Matthias, if you're out there, send us a little heart. There you go. Okay. All right. Oops. It's sort of the, the Frenchman mustache right now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Bonjour. Oh, Matthias is here. He says, hey, with a heart. Are you drawing with pencil again today? It's okay because you do a good job, but all right. It's okay. I did job. one of mine with pencil. Okay. Pencil. All right. So we'll thicken that up, add on to the top a little bit, but it's part of him having that smile is the way that it goes out. Okay. I guess he comes down a little bit. And when you're drawing here, you try to draw it in the direction it's going. All right. We'll bring this right up to his nose, and that'll help define where his nose is too. Okay. Then he has the hair on his chin, and he does have these um, long sprayy things. But if I could start, if I find where his chin is, and I just kind of sketch along like this, all right, that'll give that hair. And then he has little braids, and they have beads on them. I guess I'll bring that right off the bottom. I don't know. They're nice and black. Okay. He's got a little soul patch there. Do this. Yes, do this. Okay, a little more, a little more hair, almost touching that. Looking better already, right? 
like this one. It's very piratey. Can't tell whether he's lopsided or not. Is it lopsided? A little bit. His eyes are a little, a little off kilter. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that you know, if I if I this one's a little lower than this one, what I can do is add a little bit on the bottom of this, and add like on the inside, and add a little on the outside to that one, right? Um, then this eye is touching more of the bottom. I bring this one down. That'll help a little bit. in a little bit so I don't leave this part so big. There. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's do his mouth. And what happens is that um, he's, he's got a little black line between his teeth and his lip. Okay? You don't have to do this. Um, but if you can, you bring it right here. Because the inside of your mouth is super dark. So that, that's sort of representing like where his tongue is. All right? And then right in the middle, you're going to put a little, those two teeth are kind of spaced a little bit bigger. Okay? Kind of on the edges, it gets a little bit darker. Okay? Um, I can make sure now that I know where his lip is, I can probably make this, you know, pretty different. If you don't want to put the teeth in there, don't. It's fine. Maybe we'll do one a cartoony thing with having doing teeth. That looks really fun. Okay. Because your teeth are big and they don't catch the light here, and then they curve and they go into your mouth. Usually, the ones that are on the side are get a little bit shaded. This is a little hard to shade because of the colors, but I think what I'll do with this guy is to just bring the, mu bring the mustache down over the edges of his mouth a little bit. Okay, let's look at the hair. Um, if you look in, or you squint your eyes at this photograph, you're going to see that it's almost all black, like right in this area. He just has, but it's nice that there's a few places where his hair catches the light. Um, if anything, if you're running out of like coloring power, where you want to color is right next to his face. And right in here, when you're drawing, this part where your hair touches your neck is usually one of the darkest places on your face. Even if you have like light hair, it'll still come out almost the black, the blackest part. Okay? Alright? So I want to get right in there. You know, this is also sort of, his neck is pretty dark right in there, too. All right. Um, you know, in reality, you know, usually your face isn't all, doesn't have all kinds of black shadows on it, but um, for this drawing, it sort of makes sense to have quite a bit of black. A lot of times I avoid black and try to use other dark colors, but this, it makes sense for this, for sure. Okay, so if I leave a little bit of um, little, some spaces on his hair, that'll make it have a little bit of light to it, I can use a brown in there instead of all black, okay, but right in close to his face, he's got a couple of pieces out here, if you want, you know, if you scribble it a little bit, that's going to make his hair seem messy and dreadlocky and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So then I would take, you know, maybe a lighter brown, put a little of that in there. This is the cooler brown. I use a reddish brown in here, and I'm using a cooler brown, meaning it's a little bit bluish. All right. 
over here. Um, I don't really care about coloring in all of these little beads, but I know a lot of times people like to use some different colors on that. You know, you just kind of spot it on there. All right, I'm going to need a little bit of red for his bandana here. something on your head, it's a lot closer to your eyebrows than you might think it is. But that's how you make something look like it's on the head, is when it comes right down like this. Otherwise, it's kind of like, what's that, like cabaret with a little teeny tiny, what do you call those little tiny? Flapper? Oh. Or um, a fascinator. I have no idea. Or like in England where they wear, like, what do you call that? A head. Um, a head, head treatment, like window treatment. Okay. Does somebody, somebody know? No, no one's had. No one's a had. fascinator. Christina, though, I see you there. Do you know? Christina is a very educated woman. She might know. Um, a fascinator is the thing when it has, it just barely, you, you, you pin it to your head and it has something cool hanging off of it, I think. All right. Let's see. I gotta do something. Some big teeth. My, uh, I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him have a broken tooth. Oh, I did that too. A broken tooth. Mm -hmm. So if I, I don't know if it'll work in this case because, yeah, I make a chip out of it. If you kind of make the more black you put around the teeth, the more he's got kind of. Oh, I know. Give him a pointy one. Um, oh, hair over here. Again, right nice and dark, right up next to the neck. Right? We have a little bit of shirt down here, so that gives us a little break in all that darkness. So don't forget, you can kind of show that part. All right, and then let's do this hat. So if anything... If you can pick whatever colors you want to color the hat, ah, I'll make both of his top teeth pointy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Um, I picked something. Oh, I have this greenish color. I have this greenish color. If you squint your eyes and you look at his hat, you're going to see there's a kind of lighter piece over here. All right. And then a little bit of light around this keyhole thing. And a little bit of light. doesn't matter. Say you're making blue, make this color this much of it light blue. Okay? Um, if you're doing green, use light green. If you're doing, you know, whatever. Okay? Then, on this one, I'll just leave it and I'll smudge where the lighter bits are. And then I'm going to choose a darker color. In this case, I'm going to use the brown. This light, this brown. I'm just going to stick with this. Um... In here, we need to make this super dark. That's like the, the hat, the part that's sitting on his head inside. All right? And then I'm going to bring this. And if anything, you know, this is where it needs to be the darkest. If you're going to be, if you're getting tired of coloring stuff in, you know, get the edges. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about how it's quite as much how dark you make this. So if I go here... All right, and this piece. And it might not seem like it makes a difference when you're right up close, but it should make it look a little more three-dimensional when you step back, if you have a nice uh, little bit of dark and a little bit of light. It should help a little bit. And then over here, a little bit of shadow on the side. Okay, so down here. <laughs> he 
He's probably got scurvy too. Scurvy and rotten teeth. All right, so I'm gonna go black over here. I'll just smudge this in there too. All right. I wonder if Dawn's drawing higher up. Oops, they're both doing I can't it. wait to see their pictures. I can't wait to see everybody's um, pirates. I would love it if you would post it. If you want to put it in the comments um, beneath this video, um, that's probably the best place and probably the easiest place to, to post them. But you can send it to me in a message too if you want to. Uh, oops, oops, I did the wrong thing over here. Yeah, I did. Okay. This is darker. Oh well, I wasn't paying attention. Um, so the videos are always on my Facebook page. If you go and you click on videos, you should be able to, they should be right there. Um, you can also find them on um, YouTube under free drawing classes with Valerie Wallace playlist. And all of the ones I've done are there. And you can watch them for free. And you. Um, could share it with anybody that would be awesome and if you would like to make a donation you can go to ValerieWallaceFineArts.com and you click on the ticket page and you'll see me there and you can make a donation of as little of a, as a dollar and then I know that you're watching because I'll tell you there's really no way to know who's watching unless you like it because um, you know the numbers that Facebook throws back at you are just kind of ridiculous. Have I done everything? I think so. Okay. Well, s thank you so much for joining. And um, I really am happy to have this to do. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it and learning something. And I'll see you tomorrow at 1. Thanks. Bye.